So, Sandra. Yes? <laughs> I'm feeling a bit sad today. Oh, why is that? Because you've got to go home. I know. But. What? Go on. <laughs> well, at least you don't have to go home until about 8, 8.30 tonight. Yeah. And it's now about 12.30. Yeah, it's not too bad. We so still have a few hours. What we thought we'd do, we'd take you through some of the Cotswold villages because we're right next to, um, you know, coming from Oxford. We've got Blade and Woodstock. Um, we'll probably go to Burford, a few other places, um, and show you on the way. Um, so this behind me is uh, Churchill's grave, and this is where he was buried, and this is in Bladen. And it's a lovely little Cotswold village right next to Woodstock. Um, so, yeah, let's take you there. Right, so this is St. Martin's Church, and this is where Churchill was buried. And it's not too far down here, actually. So here we go. This is the whole family. And the man himself. Churchill. And Clementine. 1874 to 1965. And, and Church Churchill, okay, 1874 to 1965, and um, Clementine, she lived from 1885 to 1977, so she outlived him for a while. Yeah, she does. Yeah. So that was uh, Churchill's grave in Bladen. We're now heading off to Woodstock in a mo. It's a glorious day today. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it? Really, really nice. Isn't it? Come look at these old cottages. Just so peaceful. It's a nice place, Bladen. It is. It's, it's not too big. Very, very nice. Very pretty. Yeah, it is. It's small, but it's pretty. It is. Okay, so what's, what's happening here is, is that rather than go straight down to the roundabout, we turn left down here and it's just a little shortcut take us where we want to go bit of a bumpy road and it's amazing how close everything is to each other over here um, Bladen, Blenheim Palace, Woodstock Woodstock is one of my favourite places, uh, very historic, 
birthplace of uh, Winston Churchill at Blenheim Palace. You've got the old stocks there. And as a DJ back in the day, I used to DJ at well, most of these pubs. Um, yeah, some good times there. See, it's not very far at all from Bladen to Woodstock. And just on the left here, that's the main entrance to the palace. Now, we're not actually going to go in there today, but maybe, Sandra, you can just turn the camera around and look through those gates. You might have just got a glimpse of the palace there. And, um, yeah, not there. No, I know, I was just trying to... And this is Woodstock. Quaint little uh, village. It is a village, isn't it? It is a village. I want to know, it could be. Yeah, I think it is. It's regarded as a village, but um, this road would take you to the back entrance of Blenheim Palace. If you just look around here, though, just span around a bit. There you go. It's pretty busy today. It's a lovely place, and um, if my memory serves me correct, this is the town hall. Yeah, the Bear Hotel on the left, the Star Inn on the right, and that little pitch roof there is where there should be some stocks. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I can. The car is in the way. You can just, like, just yeah. see it. Okay, and if you carry on down here, this is the back entrance to Blenheim Palace. So this is the uh, the back entrance to Blenheim Palace. We got all the gardens and it's a fantastic lake down there. We've been there quite a few times, but we haven't got time to do that today. So that's one of the entrances there, and we've also got like a back entrance, uh, back entrance rather. Uh, for residents of Woodstock and um, with that you don't have to pay so let's see if we can get through here so that ahead of you is the town hall just to the left here, you'll see the stocks again. You can get a better picture of those now. Just to the left here, we've got the King's Arms Hotel. I had a a newspaper reporter um, do a report on me, or, or a, sort of like a spread on me and my DJing years, so that was quite funny. Okay, so what you can see here is a lot of the old Cotswold stone walls um, dating back to the Roman times, and if you look over that side to the right, um, you just got so much countryside. Side here. Um, you've got crocodiles of the world on the left up here, and uh, a little bit further on, we're going to be approaching the Burford Garden Centre. Now, it's not like any other garden centre, it's huge, it's massive, and uh, there's so much there not just um, plants, shrubs, trees. We've got a nice restaurant there, and uh, ornaments, and clothes, and all sorts. There you go, at Nurstow Farm, sorry. Um, it's up here again. Right, so this is where you get on the left here the Garden Company, which is the Burford uh, Garden Centre. And uh, just approaching this bridge here, uh, we turn left, that'll take you into Burford. And uh, just looking down the street, it's just amazing because it's, it's quite a steep hill. and. Um, it's very picturesque. So I'll just get around this roundabout. 
Cotswold Wildlife Park is on the left-hand side. It's quite a nice place. So we just take a little tour down here. There we go, Burford. Hopefully not too much traffic. So I'm just going to do a nice bit of filming for you here. Do my best. And exactly what we didn't want, traffic. get on. I don't know if you can see that, but either side you've got some lovely Cotswold buildings on the left and right. Some fantastic pubs down here too. Hopefully you can get some idea on what it looks like here. Some lovely buildings. That building's quite nice too. Is there a clock up there? Up there. It's a shame it's so busy today because it's nice when you can see the whole yeah, way down. Yeah, it's kind of obscuring the view a bit. Yeah. That was Burford and we're now heading towards Stow on the Wold. So this is Stow on the Wold. And uh, just gonna find somewhere to park now. Looks quite pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. Plenty of uh, place on the left there. The only thing is, there's, there's quite a bit of traffic about. Yeah, there is. Very busy. Not many places to park. I'd say I got it on this. A few moments later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Just... 
much, much, much later. So here we are, Stowe on the Wall. Here we go, yeah. Sandra. <laughs> and a little bit of a pan around there. <laughs> there we go. I'll just take you around this place very briefly because we are on a, a time schedule. Got a posting house over there, the King's Arms. The Cotswold Sweet Company. Lloyd's Bank. The Talbot Court. Beer and Cider House. Mmm, that sounds good. Coach House Coffee. Mmm. I just found this little alleyway. Very cute. The Talbot menu. Mm. Where's the menu there? Though? No entry, All right, okay. Well, we're trying to find something to eat at the moment, but everywhere's booked. Well, we can try. Should we try there? So we've just tried the second pub and um, they're fully booked as well. So I can feel the old tummy rumbling now. How about you, Sandra? Feed me! Feed me! It's a tea shop over there, tea rooms. Give that a go. So right, just over here we've got the um, the porch house. Now, reputably, this is supposed to be the oldest building in England, and it's a uh, I think it's about a thousand years old. But I, I will see if I can get a date. Oh, there we go, 947 AD, and that's called the porch house. Right, well, we just tried this place, and we um, also can't get in here either. Um, but I just thought I'd show you around the place because it is really oldie baldy. Bearing in mind it's the oldest building in the UK. So the earliest um, time they've got is 6 p.m. Look at these old booms. Yeah. So, next stop. <laughs> next stop, probably a garage, service station, or something like that. Probably. Prince of India. I'd eat anything around them right now. Oh, there was another place, but I think everywhere in this village is going to be really busy. Yeah. Sandra, we've got a bit of a, a dilemma. Um, I'm Hank Marvin. I know, me too. <laughs> You're hungry too. We uh, we've to been into three, three places now, and uh, all of them are fully booked. So um, we've got to find somewhere. We do. Any we suggestions? Might have to, we may have to move out of here and find somewhere out on the main road. Okay, let's do it. I'm into a certain place over there. Well, it says sheep. Bar rooms and fired oven. Right, well, Sandra, we were both dying for a Sunday roast. A nice beef roast, and all we could do is smell a Sunday roast being cooked here. So, what do we get? This looks good. <laughs> so, that's tuna with cucumber and tuna with cheese. And I've got pretty much the same there. And the name of this place is, I think I just find out. Uh, I don't know. What is the name of this place? We'll let you know in a minute. And did you like it? I did actually. Not quite a roast dinner though, is it? It's not. But I'm full for now. Okay, fill the gap. <laughs> okay, so we're going to head on now to where? Morton. Is she's, it? she's getting good, for, you know, for, the water. for an Irish lash, she's getting pretty good. Lash? 
Lass. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> For an Irish lass. Yeah. So. We're going to Morton in the Marsh. In the Marsh, that's I, ha it. I haven't been there personally for a long time because um, I just haven't been out there. But every Tuesday they have a, a market there. Yeah. Yeah, she is listening, folks. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, we're going to see what it's like anyway. And um, yeah. So Sandra's just told me off, folks. <laughs> She's just told me off because I said, don't be telling me, I'm not listening. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. <laughs> she's telling me, she's telling me. Yeah, but you don't need to repeat what I said. <laughs> <laughs> So we're coming into Morton in the Marsh now and um, as far as I know this is only like a main street where you normally have the uh, um, a market every Tuesday it used to be I'm not sure if it still is but if you look on the right here there's some lovely buildings the Manor House Hotel yeah um, on the right here you've got a lovely little pub there the Swan it's called the Swan Hotel I normally come in from the left there. Right. But yeah, it's a lovely little Cotswold village, this one. I guess that's a town hall ahead of us. The Royal White, White Hart on the right. The Black Bear there. As far as I know, that's all it is. You know, it's, a, it's only one street, but it, it is pretty. say much about the buildings here but uh, it's just nice to drive through all the same. The eight bells sounds like a pub to me. It does. It's really really pretty pretty little town. It is. A village. Village. church on the right yeah, there. I have it. Could be a cathedral actually. And then you've got the volunteer in on the left here. Just 
so that you know folks, Sandra's filming at the moment. <laughs> it's a bit difficult when you're driving. There you go, that was chipping yeah. camera. Really pretty. So this is Broadway. This is also a lovely place. You wouldn't think this was uh, just after lockdown. There's so many people around. The Ligon Arms on the left hand side there. I think I, I did pick it up. Seen it from another angle. Some art studios on the left hand there. Um, you wouldn't think that, you know, so soon after lockdown that there'd be so many people about, I know. so many cars. It's very, um, it is very busy. Broadway Museum on the right, Horse and Hounds on the left. Pretty, pretty. Very pretty. It's nice the way you see all the mountain or hills up there. It is, isn't it? Yeah. All the limestone houses. Milestone house. History behind that. Aren't they cute? That is so cute. The old coaching route. Look at that. I don't want to get those. I can't turn it all the way around. It's so well looked after, isn't it? Oh, definitely. have a good council. So that was the Cotswolds. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Stratford-upon-Avon yeah. and that should take us up nicely to around about seven o'clock at uh, which time Sandra has to be at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll Aww. see each other again in about... Yeah. Almost two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. So thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. So time for a quick pit stop. We've just uh, come into McDonald's. Is that nice, Sandra? And what did you have? Chicken wrap. Wow. Okay. I had a quarter pounder, and that was great. So uh, a cup of coffee, and on the way again. On the way we go. So we're just sanitising. Come with Sandra. We are. Rub your hands. There that you go, all good and clean. The amount of times we've done that today. Done so it a few many. times. Definitely. Yeah, we just dropped down there a little bit, but there we go. Okay. Off we go. Onwards. Well, we don't say onwards, do we? No. Somebody else says that. <laughs> what do we say? Um, off we go. Forwards. There on we go. Our, on our way. <laughs> on our way. There we go. So, kid, where are we going? Stratford upon Avon. Stratford upon Avon. Yeah. And you've been there before, haven't you? I have. And if we said Stratford upon Avon, what springs to mind? Um, see, that's it. I, I, I to be or not to be? Uh, oh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, sorry. that's yeah. the one. Yes. And that course. would be Shakespeare's birthplace. Yeah, exactly. So we're getting pretty tired right now, aren't we? Because we've been to quite a few places we today. We have. We've been out and about early this morning, so. Yeah. But we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, so just to find out where we're going now, because we've got two choices here: Stratford down there, Hathaway's Gardens, or around here and Hathaway's Gardens. Okay. Right. Stratford upon Avon. Here we go. Where are you going, Sandra? Oh yeah. Okay. Is that, is that up here? Is it? Okay. So here we are in Stratford-upon-Avon and uh, yeah we're going to take a look around this place and just see what there is aren't we Sandra? yeah we'll look and uh, see if there's anything interesting bless her she's tired we've been out since 11 o'clock this morning and um, we've been around all the Cotswold villages today well a lot of them anyway and here we are now in Stratford-upon-Avon even even even, even. Even, is it? I take it that's Shakespeare down there. Yeah, that'd be old Bill. William Shakespeare. He used to know what those puffy trousers were called. Yeah, do you not know? No, now. Those puffy trousers. They wouldn't be called baggies or anything like that then. Yeah. A few moments later. So it's a, a Sunday today and it is still quite busy considering it's about, was it 5.30? About 5.30? So that's the Henley Room, Warwickshire Registration Service. And uh, I think that place over there is William Shakespeare's birthplace. Public library. William Shakespeare. Well, this this looks quite an old building, doesn't it? It does. But it wasn't his first home burnt to the ground or something. I don't know. I know he moved from this place to somewhere else that was either demolished or there's gardens there now, isn't there? Yeah, I think so. So um I know one of his homes and two of his brothers that think died at a young age. Well I've been in here before and it's um it's very old and you get a good idea. God look look at those windows. Yeah. Amazing. Lead windows. It's amazing it's still standing. See they're showing you what it's the inside. Alright, yeah. The house. Okay. And you look at how flimsy it is. And you think it's been up all those years? Yeah. There's a Christmas shop over there, Sandra. <laughs> Lovely. 
Yes, it is only September. <laughs> yeah. Wait for that one. So I think down here, either back there or down here, you've got the museum as well. To the living memory of William Shakespeare, this foundation stone uh, for the Shakespeare Centre was laid on 28th of June 1962 by Her Royal Highness Prince Alexandra of Kent. So I think this used to be the entrance but uh, because of all the coronavirus <coughs> restrictions now they're having to change it all. Here the last time we were here. Once there was. Was, there was Sandra. So we think we're going to somewhere over there. So that's the entrance then. Look at that telephone box. It's crazy, isn't it? That's a good advertisement for a shop. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. That is really crazy, that telephone box. So anyway, we've had a long day and we're thinking about going to this place here, which is uh, Anne Hathaway's cottage, or you got Mary Arden's house. house. But we've got, well Sandra's got a plane to catch and we don't know whether we're going to have time. Butterfly farm. Butterfly farm. That would mean something to you, wouldn't it? I just like butterflies. Yeah. So we've decided to go to Birmingham Airport. It's been a long day. It has. And um, we've got quite a bit of footage there, but uh, not so much information about the place, but um, just sort of passing through on the way to the airport. Lots of lovely scenery. Yep. So enjoyable. Especially the Cotswolds. Yes, that was beautiful. They were very good, weren't they? Absolutely. So anyway, come here you. you keep drifting <laughs> away, don't you? I'm trying not to. <laughs> You're trying not to. Right, okay babe. I shall... You're going back to Ireland now and we'll yep. see each other in about two and a half, three weeks. No, about two, two. weeks. Two weeks. Yes, yeah. All right. See you then. Bye. I think we said that a few times as well. It is. So Sandra, where are you taking me now? Mary Arden's house. Mary Arden's house, okay, and that's down here, is it? Yeah. Right, I do have to get home though, all right? You've kept me out quite long enough. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the truth of it is, I mean, Sandra's quite tired now. I don't blame her. We've been out a long time. So let's have a look. See what we've got down here. Oh, look at this. That has to be it. What do you reckon? Look in there. And then it says Mary no. Hathaway's cottage. Anne Hathaway's cottage. Oh yeah, sorry. Now do you remember we went down here before? We did. And um, we went over here. Yeah. Through there. We did, that's right. They've let it go. Do you think so? Up there you can see, um, so see Palmer's farmhouse, Mary Arden's house. She's tired, bless her. I have a long flight to 
a flight to do. You have a long flight. Well, it's, it's well, only 40 long, minutes. but Not a long flight, but I have... I won't get home to about half 11 or 12. Yeah, it's a long... So it's a long... Consider it's now. Well, consider it's now about what six. Yep. Yeah. Been a good uh, day though. It has. Sandra, I've got to get home. What is it now? <laughs> no, these when I was kids, we used to play with them. They're called juices. They're called juices, right? And when you press them, they squirt. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> so, is it poisonous? No. Well, you wouldn't need them. Okay. <laughs> it's that time again. I know. You gotta go home now. You gotta go home. Oh well. Oh, I'll be. I'll be back. Yes, they say. I'll be over before you know it. Exactly. All right. Thanks, folks. Bye for Bye. now.